We're back, guys. Welcome to Good Energy, where we report on tennis. Good Energy reporting on tennis. 135 kilometers. That's right, Naomi Osaka. She is trying to stay in this match here, taking on Kia Kanepi. First set we are in, and the reality here is she just doesn't want to fall behind a set. Kia Kanepi just too, too strong. And the reality here, she's in very good form. Kanepi making it to the Washington, D.C. final, the Citibank Open, which was a great tournament. I had Kanepi winning that first set versus Sam Sonova, which she did. She ran out of gas, though. How would she respond with the quick turnaround against one of the best to ever do it? Naomi Osaka, four Grand Slam championships. But Naomi is not, she's not in great form. She's got it 152 kilometers. Rockets! Heat-seeking missiles, but however, Kanepi would hold on strong, being broken back with several set points. She would finally take the first set, and Naomi Osaka is calling for the physio. Could it be an exit, an early exit for Naomi, an early exit strategy? Look, she's uncomfortable. When Naomi gets uncomfortable, she looks for a way out. And I notice watching her matches lately, she is not comfortable going to the left side with her back end. She's had several winners that she could just blast right off the court, but she's not comfortable hitting it. I think that's something she's definitely going to have to practice and get more routine on as she continues to play more matches. But we're headed to the U.S. Open. If she can't fire her forehand to the left side of her opponent for a wide open winner, then she's not going to get another U.S. Open championship. Emma Raducanu is the champ right now. Naomi was the champ in 2020, 2020, but the reality here is we're going to see what happens here. She's going to have to dig deep and battle back in the second set because right now Kanepi is just winning every exchange, and Naomi looks like she's looking for a way out. Good energy reporting.